All right, welcome back, guys. This is part three of the LED cube build. And today we're going to get started soldering up one of these eight grids that we have to build. And like I said, this thing came with absolutely no documentation whatsoever. And when I got some documentation from the vendor, it didn't match the circuit board. So after viewing a lot of videos, I finally wrapped my brain around how it works. And I'll try and explain it to you guys as best as I can. So you're going to need 64 LEDs for each layer. And I've laid them out in this grid here to match the grid pattern on the circuit board. And I've made basically a little more than a three millimeter hole with my pokey stick. So you notice these LEDs have really long legs. All right, and here's what we've got to do. We're gonna take the shorter leg, the cathode. With, if, okay, let me try and explain this, make it clear. Hold the LED pointing away from you with both legs in a horizontal position. Bend the cathode straight down so that it is at a 90 degree angle to the anode in that same plane. And then starting at the bottom right, put it in the hole. Then we're gonna do that for eight more. And the idea is to line these up so that they are just about perfectly touching. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna go through this entire process in real time. But because I had such a hard time finding information on how to build this, I wanna make sure that I do make it clear if you guys decide you want to build this kit on how it is to be built. See how these are all touching each other? Line them up at this point as neatly as you possibly can. This will save you time in the next step, which is the soldering. All right, so now they're all neatly lined up and you wanna do about one row of these at a time. I found it easiest for me to start at the bottom. So we get a little solder on the iron, touch them. And They're soldered. I mean, they go to if you spend the time to line them up, this part will go really quickly. See, there's the first row done. All right. Now let me put in the next row so that I can explain to you how this works. I'm going to pause right. here and I'll come back. As you can see here. I went ahead and did all 64 rows or columns. I'm not sure which is which. They are all connected through the anodes this way. Now we have to connect, or I'm sorry, they're connected through the cathodes. All this soldering makes my brain sad. Now we have to figure out a way to connect the anodes 
which are going to be connected in this plane. Now what we've got to watch out for is these are all not uninsulated. So if we bend them too far and we touch an anode to a cathode, it will rip apart the fabric of space-time as we know it and unleash Zool upon an unsuspecting population. Now one of the one of videos I saw mentioned using a five millimeter uh, stick. Well, I wouldn't know five millimeters if it bit me on the nose, but what I found to be rather useful is a glue stick. So here's how I have done this. Push the glue stick up against the row. And then bend these anodes over at the 90 degree point. like so and I know this is a little confusing and it was to me when I first did this but as I did more of these it starts to make sense Then see this just rolls right out. Now, the other trick that I have found is to take an alligator clip and clip those together. Then bring your soldering iron in from one side, your solder in from the other, and hit them. Do not worry at this point about perfect joints. Oh, we worry about perfect joints. But don't worry about everything being lined up perfectly because we'll be able to hide our crimes in the next step. But do make sure that your solder joints are good. And also, make sure you're using an iron that's hot enough to allow you to get in and out in just a second or so. Because heat is going to be the enemy of the LEDs. So I'm using a 30 watt iron, a 20 watt would probably do fine also, but anything smaller you're probably going to be putting too much heat into the LEDs and you might damage them. So we just do this eight more times. And no, I'm not going to make you watch. I'll be right back. Everything is all soldered up. Now, you got to be careful when you remove this from the jig. Here's how I like to do it.
kind of go row by row here. Apply a little pressure. And viola, it's free. And there you have it. Pretty easy to do. I've made two of them so far. That's the first, that's the second one. There's the first one. And the way these are gonna work is the cathode ends are gonna go into the receptacles on the board. Something like this. And then, bring this back a little bit here. We will solder the anodes together for each layer. And that'll be how it goes. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time.